Good morning. So glad to talk to you on Hump Day. Midway through the week we are. A rainy day here in the Tennessee Valley, but Pastor Doug Plumley and I are nice and sheltered yes. under our tent. And before I talk with Pastor Plumley, who's here from Ridgedale Baptist Church, I'm going to just go ahead and give you a, a, a word of warning. It's become bring, <laughs> bring your dog to work day for me today. The reasons aren't important, but this is my dog, Maddie, and she's a little bit out of her element. So if all of a sudden you watch Doug and me talking and you see me reeling as Maddie pulls me in the opposite <laughs> direction, at least you'll know why. But it looks like, Doug, she's kind of settling in a little right, bit. So good deal. Maybe, maybe we're in luck. Maybe, maybe. We will talk while we can because next Wednesday right. is a big day for you. Ridgedale Baptist Church always finding a way to get involved with the community. You're doing it once again. Yeah, we want to do a community wellness event next Wednesday, October the 13th, from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock uh, at Ridgedale Baptist Church on 1831 Hickory Valley Road. We wanted to try to find a way to say to our community, we care about you. Health is an important issue, and we wanted to provide some resources available on that day to help them. You've been doing a lot of this kind of thing, reaching out to the right. community throughout the last year and a half, probably before that too. Right. But with COVID, you were doing food drives and clothing drives. So now you're taking it a little bit of a further step. We're on the cusp of flu season. So among the things you're gonna be doing are flu vaccines, COVID boosters, and a blood drive, right? Correct, we're gonna be doing that. We're working with uh, Blood Assurance to have a uh, blood drive. One of the things right now, no, there's a great shortage for blood. Uh, COVID has really hurt that. Uh, the blood drives have been down. and We want to try to say an opportunity to help them because it brings life to a lot of people. They have to have yeah. it. But also we wanted to have vaccines available uh, for those who want if they needed a booster shot. Uh, they want to take some of the first shots, either one, first or second shots. They'll be available on that day. We're then also having the flu uh, vaccines. If they'd like to get a flu vaccine, uh, those are the only ones there's any cost. If you With insurance, they'll probably cover it. Without mm -hmm. insurance, it's $35. Okay. We want to make people aware of that. Uh, but we're trying to say we want to be an opportunity where you can come and get those things to help your health. You also know, I mean, y'all are on that main thoroughfare there on Hickory right. Valley Road. That's kind of a cut through street for a lot of folks on their way to the interstate. So you might forget about this and drive by and go, hey, what's going on? And pull in the parking yes. lot. With the exception of the blood donations, everything else you can just show up. Well, the blood donation, we asked you to sign up, but they did last time and they'll take again uh, walk ups. They, they will. will take both of those. They try to get as many sign ups as they can, Julie. It helps them to know they're planning, mm -hmm. but there are also available options for walk ups that day. When you first told me about the event happening next week, and of course I know you're aiming this at an older audience, right. not so much the kids, but I thought, gosh, it's fall break for so many schools. That could play in your favor because teenagers can donate blood. Yes. What a great thing for them to do. They can come on their fall break if they're in town. We'd love to have them. They can come by the afternoon and donate blood. Uh, and it's an option that they can help our community in that way. I mentioned the seniors. You're also doing something with Medicare benefits. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, we're wanting to do, uh, we got Verna and Knight of Night and Day Solutions coming in to say, uh, review the Medicare policy. Make sure they've got the things done they need to have mm -hmm. uh, as they're approaching their age that they need to utilize those benefits. She's going to be there to give them ideas. Make sure their policies are in good shape. Review it and give them suggestions and ideas for that. I want to talk to you about once you flip the calendar from October to November, the fund is not stopping with y'all. Aren't you doing something to honor veterans in November? Yes. On uh, November the 11th, uh, Thursday night this year, we're going to be doing that. I have a Veterans Appreciation Banquet. And one of the neat things that we do every year, we present them with quilts of valor. For all these men and women who served, they have a quilt made out of a red, white, and blue colors and have their name and their service years embroidered in that quilt. We'll be presenting those that night. We have a special recognition that night of a man who is 100 years old, we're going to be recognizing him for his service in World War II, one of the few veterans left over from World War II, be recognizing him that night in a special way too. You know, I think that there's kind of a joke across the other parts of the country about when you come south, if you throw a nickel, you're going to hit a church. Right. There's kind of one on every corner. Right. But it's because historically our communities were smaller That's, and the church yes. served the community in which it in which it was built, right. right? So it's very important for your church to hold on to that sense of community support, and that's what you're doing. Yeah, we want to say to our community we care about them, we're interested in the community. Uh, we, Our location allows us to reach different parts of our community, but we do care about 
the area where we're located and say, if we can benefit you, mm -hmm. we want to make a difference where God has planned us at right now. And you are a cross section of that community. Correct. So sometimes you know about some needs. I'm sure that's what prompted right. this wellness event next Wednesday. Are there any things that you see that are still needs out there? If somebody is transitioning to a new season of fall clothes and their kids have outgrown some things that are hardly worn, right. do y'all take donations? We're working what we can do. We've got some donations we're doing and we've working with other organizations. We've collected some and we'll get them to those people who are actually doing the clothing distribution. We're not doing one right now, Julie, mm -hmm. but we will take those and get them. We've got uh, connections with other groups who are doing them on a regular basis. Okay, you said that they ask Blood Assurance does to make a, a appointment, if you will. Yes. Do they do that by calling Blood Assurance or by calling they, the they church? Call either way, they can call Ridgedale Baptist Church at 499-0994 and let us know. We can help you with that. Or you can go online with Blood Assurance and you can uh, register through them also. Okay, so the place to be is Ridgedale Baptist Church. The time next Wednesday, the 13th, from 2 until 6. Correct. Uh, if you just forget about it and you show up that day, that's great. They will welcome you with right. open arms. Uh, come and get your flu vaccine, your COVID shot, give blood, and learn about Medicare all in one fell swoop. And then also fall prevention. We're going to be doing something for fall prevention because for a lot of senior adults, falls are one of the great down hurts them a lot mm -hmm. and so we're trying to have that fall prevention how you can do that life care centers of america is going to come and have a fall prevention things they can do around their homes to help them that way too always good to see you thanks good to so see much you too, julie thank you so much we're back after this